All right, so I got a package from Intel. It's really big, so I'm not really sure what's inside. I know that they should have sent me a laptop, but I'm not really sure what's inside this giant box. So let's open it up and see what's inside. This is like the biggest box I've ever received for a laptop. But let's open it up and see what we have. I mean, what is this? This is the HP Spectre with the Intel Evo i7 chip. Specifically the 1165G7, the Intel Evo has a lot of really cool promises and it's supposed to offer a way longer battery life of up to 9 hours and it should wake up from sleep in less than one second. Super fast recharging, Wi-Fi 6 and Thunderbolt 4. Yeah, you hear it. It's supposed to have a lot of really good things and it's also a chip for Ultrabooks, meaning that it will be found in these ultra portable laptops. So this could very well be the ultimate ultra portable programmer laptop. And now I'm basically gonna try this out for about a week and do some programming, do some things that I usually do with a laptop and see how this actually performs. So yeah, anyway, let's go and test it out, do some field testing and we'll see what we come back with. So this is the end of this day and I've been working on this laptop now for the entire day. Basically just like installing different things like Flutter, Git, uh, NeoVim and the uh, virtual box where I created some virtual machines and then installing all those virtual machines, running all the like multiple installs of m multiple virtual machines at the same time. And it's been performing really well and the battery life has been really good too. So at this time, at the end of the day now, it is at 6% battery. And so I'm not really sure how much time I've actually put into working on the laptop, but it's been an entire day of actual use. And uh, right now it's still like, this is the first time I needed to actually put it on charge. So that's been really good. Also installing Linux on the different things. I'm, I'm thinking about potentially installing or creating a dual boot of Windows and Linux. Uh, Ubuntu worked great to install on the virtual machines. So all of that seems to be working great, which is really good because that's really important for me. Yeah, so far so good. Day one is done and now let's continue with the rest of the video. Okay, now for the rest of the week, I'll be working on a few side projects in Flutter and some other things related to Linux. So let's go. I'm back now and I've done some testing on this laptop now for the past week and I put together a list of some pros and cons. So yeah, now let's go through them and see what we have. All right, so first we can take a look at the pros and one of the main pros of this laptop is that it's really lightweight. So it's super portable, 
which is something that's really useful if you're someone that needs to carry your laptop with you. And the second pro of this laptop is actually the screen height or the screen size, because it's actually a three by two ratio, which means that you get a lot more vertical space. You basically get, I think it's like 20% more vertical space because this screen basically allows you to see just a little bit more code than you would on a regular screen. The third pro of this laptop is basically the fast wake up time. So it's basically has a one second wake up time, which is one of the Intel Evo requirements. Another really nice thing about this laptop is the touch screen, which is again, one of the Intel Evo requirements. So yeah, the touch screen is actually a fairly useful feature, especially for the UI design type of developers that des design their own UIs and really just any sort of like if you do Photoshop or anything like that this I think that's super useful another thing that's super useful about this laptop is the battery life which means that you're able to get through like pretty much an entire day's worth of work without having to recharge your laptop and this means that you don't have to be as reliant on having your laptop charger with you if you forget it you might actually be able to get through the entire day's worth of work either way which is something that's super useful. And it still does all of this while being super powerful. I was able to run Flutter, which is something that's actually super intensive for a laptop to do. And a laptop of this size and this like form factor, to be able to run Flutter really well is actually a really good sign, I think. And the reason that Flutter is a good test, in my opinion, is because you have to run an emulator. So you have to emulate an actual phone or a device that you want to run your code on. And that's something that's super taxing on a computer in general. And another part to this is I was actually able to do that while also running virtual machines. So all of this stuff means that there's actually very few compromises with this laptop, even though it's so small. So now we get to some of the cons of this laptop. And one of the main cons that I found was that sometimes the, the laptop, the fans will actually rev up for no apparent reason. When it was in like the resting mode, it was basically all of a sudden the fans would start to rev up. Not really sure why, that could be some sort of software issue with the actual manufacturer of the laptop, I'm not sure. Another part to it is that it kind of runs a little bit hot, especially if you have it on your lap or something like that, it will actually run a little bit hot. Like I also did some pretty taxing stuff like running Flutter and several virtual machines at the same time. So that in those sort of circumstances, I would expect it to run kind of hot. I wouldn't say that it runs hotter than other Windows laptops that I've tried, but in general, it just runs a little bit hot. So overall, this laptop is aimed at the person who wants a really slim form factor and wants something that's super easy to carry with you. So like essentially the portable programmer, if you're traveling back and forth from work and you need to take your laptop with you, then I think that this is a really good choice because it does have a lot of power in it, but it's still a super lightweight, and slim form factor, which means that it doesn't really take up too much space in your backpack. That's one of the main things that I notice about it is just how light it actually is. And that's something that I think a lot of people actually be looking for in a laptop. You want a lot of power, but you also want this sort of slim form factor. And if you take it with you to work, you probably have monitors there as well. So you can plug it into that and you have an external keyboard and a mouse. And so in that sort of circumstance, it would feel like you're having a desktop PC, but you actually have this tiny little laptop that you can take with you anywhere. So um, yeah, I just want to again thank you to Intel for sending me this laptop. I really enjoyed testing it out and uh, I hope I'm going to get to do this a lot more because yeah, I just think it's really interesting to test these laptops out and see how they perform and uh, what they do. Even though I might not be the best tech reviewer out there, I wanted to try to do this video in a way where you could see like my use case where I could go through what I do with a laptop and then based on that you could see what this laptop is all about and maybe you want to get it, maybe you don't, I don't know. Anyway, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I'll see you in the next one.